Okay, hello everybody. Last time we created a little GUI uh, from this act. Now in this episode we're gonna put stuff in this GUI so that we actually can do certain tasks. So yeah, let's get into it. So in order to get started, you have to go to your Minehut dashboard. Okay, and then you go to File Manager. So in File Manager you have to click on Plugins. And then you have to scroll down to script. Now script is the uh, language that we're using to write all of our programs in. So script. And then I have quite a few programs because that uh, I've been testing a lot of stuff out recently. But you click on menu.sk because this is what we uh, programmed last time. So in order to actually put items in our GUI, we have to format the different slots. So format, GUI slot. And then you have to actually get the slot number. So inside of Minecraft, you right click, and then it starts at zero. So for instance, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then on the next line, nine. So just like reading, just goes uh, top to bottom, left to right, stuff like that. So zero, nine, eighteen, for instance, stuff like that. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen would be the center. So I would do format GUI slot thirteen of player so last time we did two player so now we have to get the GUI of player and then format that with uh, let's do a golden nugget and now if you want it to have a different name then not just do named and then I'm just gonna do teleport and then if you want to have it to run stuff then do to run a colon so then you have to indent again, uh, right here. And then you have to write whatever you want it to do. So for instance, execute console command slash tp player 0, 5, 0. So these are the coordinates that we're going to be tping the player to. So, let's save. And then in here, sk reload script. Okay. And then reload and it has our teleport golden nugget. Now as you can see if you click on it you can just drag it around and it's sort of broken as it is. So in order to fix that we actually have to restart our server entirely. But before we do that, uh, just to save us some time, uh, in here player, the reason why it doesn't give us any errors is because player isn't actually the player name. So to actually get the player name you have to uh, basically uh, make sure that it reads this as a variable. So as player as a variable, but just to be sure, you can do set and then a local variable player to the actual player. And then in here, type in the variable name. So player. So save that. And once again, if you reload the script, then it should all still be fine, no errors. So now we're just going to have to uh, restart our server, and so I'll get back to you guys once that is done. So now that the server is back online after waiting for several minutes, you can see that your code is still saved as long as you hit the save button. And you can now go back into your uh, server. So now in here, you can right click, and you can hit the teleport button, and it teleports you to this location. So uh, yeah, uh, that was the tutorial for today, uh, and thanks for watching. And uh, if you ever need some help on some stuff, then I'm I'm really glad to help. Uh, I do have a, a Discord server, so if you want to hit the link down below, then that'll take you to the Discord server, and I can help you guys out with any projects that you're willing to work on. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.